After more than six decades, the Yavapai County Sheriff's Office announces a cold case has finally been solved. The girl has been referred to as Little Miss Nobody. Now, 62 years later, deputies say they have a name for the little girl. For years, a forensic drawing was the closest thing anyone had to identifying this little girl until now. On Sunday, the Yavapai County Sheriff's Office announced the unidentified little girl who won the hearts of Yavapai County in 1960 will now rightfully be given her name back and will no longer need to be referred to as Little Miss Nobody. The Sheriff's Office says they will announce the girl's name on Tuesday during a news conference. Back in 1960, the girl's remains were found burned and partially buried in a wash in Congress, Arizona, about 85 miles northwest of Phoenix. She was laid to rest in an unnamed grave. Over the decades, the cold case simply referred to as the case of Little Miss Nobody. The primary goal is to find out who she is. Back in January, 12 News spoke to Lieutenant Tom Boltz about the case. Boltz teamed up with the DNA lab Othram Incorporated in an attempt to link the girl to living relatives. DNA taken from the girl's remains are like a fingerprint that can be compared to the DNA in existing databases. In Sunday's announcement, the Sheriff's Office thanked the lab for conducting the analysis. A mystery appears to be solved thanks to a modern investigative tool. Whether the girl has living relatives who finally have closure about her disappearance, we will find out this week when investigators provide more details.